friends welcome to the science made easy our today's topic is diode ball as we all know that diode ball is the simplest electron tube which consists of the two electro uh, two electrodes one is known as cathode and other is known as anode as i have plotted it in a simple diagram this is known as cathode and this is known as this is known as anode okay now this cathode is electrically heated so that it will emit the electrons so it is act so it act as a emitter of the electrons anode has to collect these electrons so it is kept at positive potential so is that when the electrons are emitted by this these electron are attracted by the positive potential at anode and the current flows in the direction from anode to cathode as we all know the current flows in the opposite direction of the electrons now let us consider the other case if the anode is not at positive potential it is kept at negative potential anode is kept at negative potential so in this case these electrons are repelled by the anode and no current will flow and also the current will not flow from the anode to cathode as anode doesn't serves here as a emitter of the electrons and the current will not flow now we will discuss about the working and characteristics of the diode ball the working and characteristics of this diode ball diode ball can be understood by using this simple diagram this is the simple circuit diagram which is drawn for a diode ball in which we have got that this cathode is heated by using this low tension supply and plate is kept at positive potential by using this high tension supply her voltmeter notes down the plate voltage here this millimeter notes down the current that is flowing in this diode ball now here we find that when this cathode is heated some of the electrons are emitted by it and if plate is not at enough or we can say that not at very high potential only only few electrons will uh, reach to the plate and some electrons here collect are collected these collected electrons these collected electrons make a electron cloud and this electron cloud is known as the space charge now just got blocked now as here the electron cloud is formed so we will consider the three cases in which plate is at where zero potential and negative potential when plate plate is uh, the plate voltage is increasing that is positive plate voltage is increasing and the third one is that when we have very high enough plate voltage so to describe this we will we will draw a graph which is plotted between the between the plate voltage versus the plate current in this case we find that we have three regions oc oa and the third one in the oc region we find that even at the some small negative potential and zero potential there is a plate current this happens due to the, the region as cathode emits the electrons some of the electrons have high enough electron energy so that they reach the plate so a small amount of plate current flows here now in the second region o to a the electrons are emitted by this cathode and uh, on increasing the plate voltage these these more and more electrons will reach to the reach to the plate and as a result of this the plate current increases but when the plate current is very high enough such that all of the electrons that are emitted by the cathode reach the plate then on increasing further plate voltage no plate current will increase and we have a saturated current in this case the current can be increased only by increasing the temperature of the cathode here if let us consider t1 is temperature on increasing the temperature on such that the t2 it will increase the plate current and on t3 it will again increase the plate current so this is a simple working and characteristic of the diode ball i hope this video is helpful for you and if you like this video like us and subscribe to us